A very good day to everyone and welcome back to the stream. So, Ape Escape is still done, so we're gonna continue on with Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So this is a rare, <laughs> a rare Monday stream. Usually we only stream on Tuesday and then maybe Wednesday, but I figured I'd start the week off right. So there will also be a stream tomorrow, most likely, unless, you know, horrible, horrible things happen. It is the month of Halloween, after all. Let me just make sure the chat is in the proper place so I can see what everyone is saying. That's important. Double sure that the uh, stream is actually uh, recording properly. It's important too. Okay. Now, I'll be completely honest with you, I'm not entirely sure what's up next to do. I remember that we got a double jump, which is, you know, a huge, huge leap shall we say, in terms of our mobility. So there's many more places we can explore now, and I don't even know where to start. We need... Oh, 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 and we can turn into mist. Important to remember that as well. Man, we've gained so many abilities in the last stream. That really was a productive uh, stream, wasn't it? Even if I was half asleep for most of it. Yeah, that was, uh, I don't know what was up that time. Some days it's just, uh, low energy, you know how it is. There's a few places I want to check out with my new abilities. Hey, Donkey Kong. So let's go to the teleporting room. For some reason, I had some trouble actually getting that guy, but... Right, so... We discovered that, uh, that our buddy Richter might be, uh... Might have been, uh, might have joined the bad team, shall we say. Oh, I haven't explored up here yet, let me check real quick. This is not actually the place I was looking for, but now that it presents itself... Oh. Well, it doesn't present itself at all, as it turns out. <laughs> Hey, I still had to check. So yeah, even though our mobility has increased quite a bit, there's still plenty, uh, plenty of places we may need additional mobility for. The place I actually wanted to explore was one in the very early areas, the Alchemy Laboratory, I believe. But there is one corner of the map we haven't looked at yet. So I would like to check that out if possible. Enjoy the really amazing music. You know, I always liked uh, a few select tracks from Castlevania. You know, vamp everyone knows Vampire Killer. Everyone knows Bloody Tears. Uh, everyone knows the beginning theme from Castlevania 3. And I loved all three of those, but I wasn't really intimately familiar with most of the uh, soundtracks, you know. But Watching some people play through those classics again, and then playing this one myself, it has really given me an appreciation of just how amazing the, uh, the Castlevania soundtracks really are, you know. What I really enjoy about this game is just how how much there is to it in terms of the different themes. You know, we've had like, almost metal-sounding hard rock, dramatic sweeping orchestral pieces, and catchy synthesizer game type music. You know, almost like waltz dance music as well. There's been such such a wide array of amazing tracks on offer here and I uh, have to give props to the composer or composers here. 
If you check the news or the uh, gaming websites and such, you could be fooled into thinking um, Koji Kondo is the only composer around, because people don't write about composers that often, but... Man, there's so much amazing talent in the industry, isn't there? Right, this. We couldn't get up here before, so I wanted to check what was here. Ooh, it's something new. I'm going to guess it's just a health upgrade or something, but still. I had to check. Uh, was that it? Just a cloth cape? Because, uh, that's kind of a step down. Well made, but shabby looking. Well, maybe this would have been worthwhile if I had discovered the uh, double jump earlier. And I'm, I've seen like gameplay footage of speedrunners, but now that I've played the game myself, it's going to be very interesting to see how people speed it up. Because now that I'm familiar with the way I am going through the game, it'll be interesting to see how an optimal playthrough looks, you know? Because obviously this will be a far cry from how an expert uh, at the game does it. Sure, let, let's do the axis this time. Oh, right, 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 right. In the, uh, the chapel church type area, there were a lot of places we couldn't reach. So it may be prudent to uh, try and reach those little outcroppings now. It might just be money or upgrades, but you know what? Metroidvanias are all about the thrill of discovery. So, some updates regarding the uh, the streams in general. Um, for some reason, I had imagined that Ape Escape 2 and 3 were all on the original PlayStation. Because, uh, well, that's just how the Spyro and the, uh, the Crash trilogies are, for example. Ow. But the second Ape Escape game is actually for PS2, to my great surprise. Wait, can we still not reach it or am I just bad? Huh. It almost seems like I just can't reach it right now, but what if I... <laughs> it was worth a try, right? Well, that's not working. That's a bit disappointing. I wonder if that counts for all the treasures here, then. Oh no, this one can definitely be reached. But all it contains is a magic missile. So yeah, uh, I have now prepared a way to stream PS2 games, and I have prepared uh, Ape Escape 2. Like I said, it's probably going to be a matter for November, but I just uh, wanted to make sure I had it prepared in advance. The last thing you want is me uh, having to fiddle to get things working at the last moment. <laughs> Lord knows we've seen that before. Well, it doesn't look like we can get that now. It's a shame, but that's the way it is. Mm. There were also, 
but there was also still a lot ow that actually hurts a lot there was a lot to see in that uh, underwater area where the uh, boatsman was too. so yeah there are plenty of places oh look at this i didn't even know remember this was here but Morning Star. Strong, but. Yeah, it's strong, but it's a bit. Uh... Yeah, heavy, shall we say. Oh, right, wasn't there a place I couldn't reach up there as well? It's so satisfying to tear all those swords apart, you know? Just look at that. found anything new in this area yet. There you go. <laughs> well, there is another unexplored area right there, so let's check it out. Uh, what was here again? Oh right, this room. It's still very ominous and I still don't know what the point of it is. Well, I'm sure we'll find out. Ow. <laughs> what is he wearing? Oven mitts? Ow. Scalarang. There was an area... Level up. <laughs> there was an area to the left as well, but... Um... Well, it was worth a shot. So there's an area to the left as well, but I got the distinct notion that we need something else to get through there. Since we are Alucard, I actually thought about the idea of turning into a bat. I'm not sure if he does that in this game, but... I mean, he's Alucard, right? <laughs> I don't want to be too stereotypical about it, but he is a vampire. Ow. Church music intensifies. That crow is having a laugh, isn't he? Keeps knocking me down. There you go. There you don't go, apparently. You have to keep throwing axes above me to prevent myself from getting killed. But yeah, these enemies, very strange, still. Hunting girl, right? So turning into mist, not gonna work here. Not gonna work, oh clock. Well, let's just re-examine this area once more. Or 
or not. It has been a while since I saved, and it's making me nervous even though I haven't really progressed in any way. It's just an instinct, you know? Ah, we have reacquired the Bible. Honestly, I'm glad it's still my favorite item, just because it's so, uh, it's a more defensive thing, you know? Defensive. Destroys enemies all around him. The best kind of offense is a good defense. <laughs> that phrase comes to mind. There's one thing I don't like about this weapon, is that it could do with more range, but, you know, it's fine. Let's just save. If nothing else, the heal is a welcome thing. I wonder if there are any secrets hidden in the save points. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. Hmm? This is the area from which we saw the double jump. I thought that was pretty cool. Wait for the game to show us uh, something we could acquire later. Let's stick with the Bible for now. Hey there, Lightbringer BG. Welcome to the street. It's good to see you. Um, for now, I'm just gonna explore a little bit. But I thank you. I, if I uh, if I need some help, I'll be sure to ask you. For now, I just want to have a quick look around. I mean, there's so much on the map that I haven't explored yet, so... Check the area to the top right again. I'm not sure we've thoroughly explored that with our double jump uh, in tow, so... If that doesn't work, we may have to revisit the... Uh... Probably picked up an item from here, huh? Well, if there's no way to get up, then... May have to use the teleporter instead. Yeah, I could also explore the underwater area again. We've already established that we can't go up there, up there, so. This is just heading back to the starting area. Yeah. 
Right, this is where I want to be. We'll save here, right? <laughs> I don't really need to heal this time, but did you see that save? Only with the double jump could this be possible, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, yeah, I did note this uh, area was rather intimidating. Hey, Pixel Master, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. Ah, you've got your laptop back and proper internet. I'm glad to hear it. thought I must have come here with the double jump. Well, it may still be worthwhile to uh, check it out, see if we missed anything. having to come back here with increased mobility, but what I forgot is that I already had the double jump at that time, so the increased mobility I need, I don't have yet. <laughs> Did you see that? I got a damage booster onto the platform. How lucky. Which machine got unplugged? What? Did something happen to the stream? I'm not seeing any drop frames. Yes, if it actually if the stream is dropping, that would be my response too. Noddy! Or something to that effect. Well, I'm not sure if there was any point to that, but at least the uh, part has been revealed on the map. Get crazy, Alucard. I wonder if I could have made that. Refresh the page and it's back. Okay. I was worried for a second there. Sometimes Twitch just breaks, you know? So many things can go wrong before the image is recorded on my screen, sent over to Twitch, then sent over to you and displayed on your screen. So many steps. It's a miracle it works at all. To get the idea, there's uh, 
not much point in exploring this area for now. Sure, let's take the triangle thing. too much of my sub weapon right now. But anyway, how have you been, Pixel Mess? You doing alright? Right, there are plenty more places to explore. You've been mad, I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Bad life stuff, huh? I do hope things get better. At least you have your uh, laptop and working internet now. Oh, you got Shadow of War for the PS4, I see. Have you been able to try it yet, or did you only just get it? I've heard good things about it. I believe there was another area in the... Uh... In the library that I also couldn't reach with my current mobility. Maybe Twitch is just having a tough day of it. Is there any event going on? Like any really strenuous major channels that are sucking up all the bandwidth or something? Oh, there's a few other places I'd like to check at least. Yeah, the underwater area I'm just not sure about, because uh, just running through it and tanking the damage feels like an exploit. Maybe it isn't, though. Maybe the intention is really that you build up your health enough to just run through the water and pick up whatever's there. This is the library. Wait, there was a door which we haven't opened over there. I wonder if that was... Because I remember there being another door for which we need to turn into mist. And I just don't remember where it is. Because, uh, you know how it is with my short-term memory. Sometimes I remember a completely random detail. That other people probably wouldn't, but the basic stuff. Twitch hates you today, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, have you tried clearing the cache or something? Maybe Twitch is getting into a fight with your browser or something. Yeah, setting up a uh, setting up a computer anew and having to reinstall all your software and move your stuff over. It's quite the ordeal. Here we couldn't get to somewhere. But not here, apparently. <laughs> the music here is very good, too. 
Just in case there's something scary behind the door, you never know. I don't properly understand how I did that. Actually, bottom left that bottom right. I have used several spells now without realizing it. <laughs> I don't know how I keep doing it, but. Where we need to be to get to the door. I'm not the. Uh, I can't be the only one who thinks this wall looks suspicious, but fine. I guess there's nothing in there. Ah, the time piece. Uh, all your bookmarks are still there, that's good at least. Ah, yes. This is exactly what I wanted to find. Um, excuse. Thank you. <laughs> Great! Ooh, this looks very promising. Soul of Bat. Alright. Uh, how do we activate Soul of Bat? Like that. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Makes me so happy to make significant progress. You might order food? That's a good idea. It's already past 8 p.m. here, so I've, al I've already had my, uh, my food. Well, now that we uh, can become a bat, we can use anything at all. No areas are closed off to us anymore. Which means more re-exploring. Although I feel like I could head to the final boss in this state. I'm not sure if I should. It's just gone 7 p.m. there, I see. Well, different countries also eat at different times. Uh, it's very normal for us to eat around 6, but there are countries that eat around 8. Here we go. Excellent. I feel so empowered. Fairy card. Now what does the fairy card do exactly? Oh, wrong. No, that's not it. Soul of Bat. 
Man of Bat. You just eat whenever you start to starve? Huh. Probably better to uh, to eat a bit earlier than that, if possible. Hmm. Fairy guard, fairy guard, fairy guard. Was it really just a fairy scroll? Oh, I'll have to. I'll look into it more later. I get it, I get it. I'm that way when it comes to drinking. I, I, uh, I'm very bad about keeping myself light. Seems to be a common problem because I've seen a lot of, a lot of people have one of those uh, stay hydrated bots in their Twitch chat that tells you how much you need to drink every hour. Yeah, the only, uh, the only stuff I actively drink is coffee. <laughs> I need to actively remind myself to drink water as well. Haha! -ha. Right, now that we can turn into a bat, we should return to that uh, chapel area. The church area. Try to uh, fly through the spikes there. Yeah, we can reach any place now. Ooh, coffee. You know what? I was never really on a specific team when it comes to tea and coffee. I I like to uh, I like to joke around when people only like tea. I go, oh, coffee is the superior drink, but they both have their own virtues. But I drink tea more to relax and coffee more to work, you know? I love tea, but it's a very restful drink for me, and coffee is a very stimulating, activating drink, you know? So it each, uh, each has its own function for me. Why pick one or the other? But there's a few places I want to explore now. This is not one of them. That is true. Um, tea is very much the uh, national drink of Great Britain, after all. It's the stereotype, but... Do you have any particular types or flavors of tea you really like? The music here is so good, by the way. Take a shot every time I point out that the music is good. Gonna be dead by the end of the night. I keep saying it, but I really, really love the music in this game. Milky Brew, I see. Right, this is all new to us. It's like a dungeon. Property, huh? Now, there are lots of uh, flavors to enjoy. Uh, tropical fruit. Uh, cherry tea, apple tea, lemon tea sometimes. This is a pretty big major uh, side area. I wonder if there's anything really good to find here. I'm 
I'm going right to left first. I'm not sure if you can call it systematic, but it's something. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, I'm a big fan of the milky tea myself. Like, I just combine the flavor and the milk. And in weekends, a lot of sugar. Oh. That's a boss room. That's the bossest room that ever bossed. I'm gonna look around a bit first before going into that. <laughs> when you come into a, a big open room and the music stops, it's like, nope, nope, <laughs> I'm going back. Too many hits there. Oh, is this a city? Vampire running away like, oh hell no! Exactly. Alucard's not in the mood. separate area, but I've I would have liked a save point. I mean, I do have some healing items on me, I think, but... Darn it, well, that'll be good to sell to the uh, strange man in the library. I wish I could do something for you, blue man, but... I guess you're just blue, da ba dee, da ba die. <laughs> it just turns around and walks away. So disappointed. Just properly examine this room. <laughs> that's, that's one way to describe what he was doing. <laughs> I guess it's up to interpretation. It's clear the gate didn't have what he wanted though, because he was kind of disappointed by the end of that. <laughs> I gotta love the bit of 3D, the perspective here. There he is again. Oh, he just turns around and walks away. Heart max up. Very good. Holy water or holy book? What do we take? Ah, and this is how it's connected to the left here. This is, we're gonna open this up now and make it interconnected, cause that is another one of the joys of the Metroidvania. Seven pounds isn't too much to order food, is it? Depends on what you order, I guess. Like a seven pound hamburger is a bit much, but a seven pound meal is very serviceable, very affordable. Uh, we could go to the top left as well. I would like to go to the nearest save point, because we have acquired some actual substantial upgrades now. And it would be a terrible shame to lose them. I like that you can stand on this arm. So strong. 
gave him a little kiss on the forehead there. We do have to go through a few uh, area transitions here, but it's worth it just to ensure that we uh, can heal. I feel bad for cutting off the music like that, but if I stopped every time I heard good music in this game, well, things should be taking thrice as long. Now that we've properly saved, we should head back to that ominous big room. to the left of here looks closed off, so I'm going to assume... Make an educated guess, shall we say, that what we find at the end of there is uh, just an upgrade for our hearts and our health. So let's do that first before we go into the big ominous room, shall we? I really dislike those crows. <laughs> yeah, you want to try that again? Nice try. Interesting, so they're testing us for the many transformations we have now. I wonder what the point is of... Uh... <coughs> Why didn't that open? I have the... Wait, let me... The jewel of open is on. So why isn't it opening? Well, that was a bit awkward, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, so, we won't go there. I'm a little confused, though. Um, was I supposed to use a different form there? Perhaps there's something still missing from the equation there. Well, that's fine. It's all good. We'll, I'm sure we'll find that later. We need to get out of here fast before the extremely good music really kicks in and then we won't be able to leave anymore. <laughs> there we go. Got out just in time. <laughs> Right.
Right, now we can easily pass through here to return to the area we just discovered. Uh, did I ever finish that thought where I said this is one of the other joys of the Metroidvania? Because <laughs> sometimes I start a thought and don't finish it. And then I realize it after the stream and get annoyed with myself. So what I was trying to say there is that an inter making the world more and more interconnected is one of the joys of a Metroidvania. Having this world that seems impossible to navigate at first turning into this uh, into something that's rather easy to navigate in comparison to how it was, you know? Guess who's up to bat? It's Alucard. Alright, let's go into the big ominous square room. Spare room. Yeah, look at that door. Look at this room. Sorry. Oh, you want me to? Okay, I guess not. Oh, what? Ow, All these skeletons from a portal. Very smooth. Hitting me with a laser. Oh, new form. Okay, that's creepy. Being an alien now. Okay. It's clear we need something to help us out here. That's not a lot of help. <laughs> I was expecting a bit more. And this thing reminds me a bit of Mother Brain, really. Seems we may need to be a bit more strategic about this. Um, I've been holding on to the uh, the holy book as a means to defend myself, but with these big enemies that kind of stick in place for a bit, holy water is really good. So maybe. Maybe a sub weapon switch would be prudent. Well, I don't know what this is, but. Boomerangs. 
Who throws a boomerang in church? Holy water. There's a reason it's placed there. It's because it's good against this boss. I'm almost sure of it. So. Oh, they do throw boomerangs in Australian churches? That makes sense. I have never been in an Australian church before, after all. <laughs> do they also do they also uh, have a barbecue in the Australian church? Seems like just a hard upgrade, the wear bane. Doesn't look as cool though. But it's all about the practical usage, not the uh, appearance at all. Let's see if this attempt will be a bit better. There aren't really any save points very nearby either. We'll have to make do with what we have. that attack because uh holy moly there we go second form already ah it's less effective in this form to uh, get some good stuff here. Can we use one of our delicious pot roasts, please? Okay, that's pretty good for a health recovery. Well, we can actually use another one. Let's just keep at a distance and eat some of the food we have. <laughs> Alucard sits in the corner, eats a pot roast and a banana. Ah, right, you need to hit his head. Makes sense. Ow. Ouch. Oh, 
This is not going so well, is it? <laughs> a bit. <laughs> okay, do we have any more good food on us? <laughs> this is the first time in a while a boss has given me any real trouble. I was really overpowered for a while. <laughs> Japanese green tea? Should I... We have another pot roast, but... but... He's got me in the corner now. Come on! I can't even approach him at this rate. There we go! Extremely close, but we got him. Unless he still keeps going now. Nope, he's done. Whew, I'm not gonna lie, that was very scary and very close. But we did it! Thanks for the encouragement, Pixel Master. It was all thanks to you. More to explore here, huh? What a big area. Ooh, what's this? Echo of that. We've only just got the bat and now we've got an echo of the bat. Oh, let's see. Well, very good. I hope I haven't made things a lot harder for myself by uh, wasting those pot roasts. I guess I can just buy healing items from the librarian, though. Ah, uh, let's stick with the holy water for a while. We can fly up, no. Nope. There are a few other other things I want to look at before we move on. Because we can head to what I think is the final boss, but... I want to do some proper exploration first. I don't know if this is one of those metroidvanias where you never get the whole story if you just beat it.
All right, let's return to the starting area because there was a place you can fly up there. And I want to try it. There we go. I can't believe we're already so late into October, you know? I was expecting to pick up a lot of scary games, but... I can't really think of anything appropriate next to Castlevania, so... I might do a few one-time streams in the last week or something. Like, you know, just a, just a fun stream of uh, SCP Containment Breach, see how far I can make it. I, for one, am happy to have an excuse to uh, listen to this music some more. Can we please? Right, right up here. There's an area I couldn't even double jump to. But we can fly there. I actually assumed we had to drop down through here, but now that we can fly upwards, well, no need for that. Gurga. pockets every now and then. A safe point here? I'm surprised. But in a good way. Strong versus holy attacks. I'm guessing that could be interesting if we're going to fight Richter at any point. But it's a hard increase in defense anyway, so there's literally no reason not to put it on. Although, wouldn't it burn on his skin? Because Alucard is a vampire after all. Did he say take that? Man, so many crits. Okay, 
let's also have a quick look at the outside area. Yeah? Because I'm gonna assume there's a secret there waiting to be discovered by flying up. Power of Wolves. Well, my assessment was correct. There were indeed secrets up here. Power of Wolf does though. Let's let's check it. Run swiftly as wolf. I'm uh, I'm not seeing it yet. Where is the supposed running swiftly that I heard about? It is on, right? There. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Why didn't I think of this on the way there? Well, hey, better late than never. Hello, fellow pets. I'm not sure what the point of that is, but it sure makes an annoying sound. Not cheating, no, this is perfectly legitimate. We have the increased mobility I was talking about, so we should head to that top right area once more and finally pick up those items there. And then see if that one area I was talking about is indeed the final boss, I guess. Yeah, we'll save over there. Let's not go too crazy with the saving. Up, we get the 
the save and then we go once more to the top right of the map. And then we go to that mysterious unexplored area in the top middle. Let's stick with the holy water for now. I don't want to rely on the book too much. Let's see what's up here. Something is up here. Another bat ability, huh? Fire of bat. Sounds cool. Shoot fireballs is bad. Very good. And how do we do that? Okay, very good. Yeah, nice try. It's very good that I can defend myself in this state, you know? Ice mail. Totally natural bet, yeah. <laughs> Why Alucard has so much trouble working with these seeds? Because he only clicks the dot bat files. Hey! To this uh, very climactic looking area. I mean, we could go down into the sewers once more and, uh, and run into the water, but quite frankly, I want to see what's there. We can always go back. Kicking stuff at me. or uh, the pass prompt, so I'm guessing I don't have the ability to get through here unless I activate some switch. So, yeah. Oh, 
Alright, we need to get out of the water because uh, Alucard doesn't like water. Things got a bit risky back there, but... Yeah, I did take way too much damage, yeah, that was very sloppy. I think there's an item I'm missing that may make me immune to water. Don't know for sure, though. I was stubborn about trying to attack the, uh... The wheel there, whatever it is. Because I was trying to open the door to that, uh, to the bottom left, but... Well, it was a bad idea. I can't actually stand on the scale. You know what those lion heads remind me of, even though it came out later? Luigi's Mansion. You know when Luigi goes down into the well and he looks out at the at King Boo and his altar? The thing he looks through looks kind of like one of these uh, lion statues. And I'm not lying about that. to explore this room before moving on. These guys are making it a bit difficult. I may have fireballs as a uh, as a bat now, but those take a while to charge, you know? Where's number three? Or should I say number three? Oh. 
who now who is the better bet? So there is a secret up there. And this is how we get it. This is why you always explore. Power of Mist. So what does this add to our Mist ability then? Extend Mist Transform Time. Fair enough. There's something really cool about that, you know? Uh, dropping down and transforming into a bat in midair. <laughs> A bit like in uh, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, you need to drop down and then whistle for your bird to come catch you. There's something so thrilling and scary about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where it started, isn't it? What is a man? I've been waiting for you. So it is you. But why is a Belmont planning the resurrection of Count Dracula? Count Dracula rises but once every century, and my role is over. If I can resurrect him, then the battle will last for eternity! That's a bad idea. Well, I'm having some trouble finding my footing, as you can see. I like how he has multiple sub weapons. Magnificent! But now feel my unbridled wrath! Unbridled wrath? Okay. It's over, Belmont. So, the war between humans and vampires finally ends here. What need for the Shepherd when the wolves have all gone? My time on this world has come to an end. Oh, that was sad. <laughs> You can't be making problems just so you can solve them. Richter, that's not how it works. Richter, bad. Yes. Mankind continues to fight, but it is a desperate fight to stay alive. I suppose that he chose a life of warfare, since that was the only way he knew. Like you, father, he chose a path of destruction. Farewell, land of my birth. Never again will these eyes gaze upon your beauty. Okay, there we go. I failed, Lightbringer. Care to a clock? Uh, well, where's clarify? Um, is there a different ending to discover, perhaps? Because I mean, this is just the. <laughs> this music. <laughs> Sorry, I won't laugh. I won't laugh. I'm st I'm not laughing. Three, three more to go. Three more endings. 
that what you mean, or am I misunderstanding it? Programmers? I see, cool, thank you for letting me know. Well, this is just one ending, but we're gonna... I'm not ready to stop this game yet. Is that how the endings work, uh, Lightbringer? Is it just arbitrarily how how many uh, percents complete I have? Voice voice coordinator. Like, is there an ending for like 100% and then other stuff, or like what are the parameters? You can tell me what the parameters are for each ending if you want, and we'll see if I can get one or two more. This is definitely not the genre of music I expected in the, uh, in the credits. Alright, so there's one for 100% and then one for 150 and 190%. So it's one of these, right, that has more, more after 100%. Apparently we are hearing uh, Geralt Albright right now with his epic sex solo. Because this was, uh, now that you mention it, we never got closure on what would happen with uh, Maria. She was looking for uh, Richter and we never saw her again, so... You probably, there, there is an essential part missing from the story. Like if it was, if it was just like, okay, you got a band ending, <laughs> see ya. I would kind of stop, but I feel like I haven't seen the whole picture of this game yet. So that's why I want to keep going for a bit. And I just murdered him, yes. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. No, yeah, I'm guessing that there's something more going on here than just <laughs> Richter being like, Oh, I sure hate not having a purpose. I'm guessing he might have been controlled by Dracula or something. Because we didn't even fight Dracula, which is weird for a Castlevania game. Seventy four seventy four seventy four point three per cent, I see. Oh, I need to pick up that upgrade again. Uh, so what counts towards the percentage, Lightbringer? Um, just item pickups or map dis map exploration as well like do i need to reveal all the squares
to solve a puzzle. Well, we'll continue exploring all the places I haven't seen yet. Let me just make sure I have all the squares here. <laughs> Just to be safe. I'm having some trouble defending myself as a uh, as a bat. Let's just dance on this platform while we wait, no? Because that also restores our magic and we uh, are in need of that. separate room here. What's with all these upgrades? Well, I'm not complaining. Ghost guard. Ah, right, so you can only pick one familiar, right, makes sense. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Save once more. Right, so I'll, I'll need to explore the rest of the castle now to uh, to find the other ending, I guess. Hmm. The first thought that, that comes to my mind is the, uh, the uh, flooded area. There was still plenty left to see there. Well, 
Uh, for a moment there, I thought this might be the last, uh, last Castlevania stream, but it looks like it might not be. <laughs> Still plenty left to discover. Alright, we check this. No point in doing it again. This looks like a good vantage point. Now that we have the flying, we can get into the sort of sewer area a lot more easily. So convenient. <laughs> Must be frustrating to be a zombie at this point. They don't even get defeated normally anymore, I just pass them by. As though they were completely meaningless. I have a merman statue that supposedly summons the uh, boatsman, yeah? Nice, but... Oh, wait for me, boatman. Well, I could jump into the water here, but it won't hurt. was a bad idea in general, wasn't it? Because <laughs> we already got the merman statue from here, so I'm not even sure why I'm back here. Just wanted to explore the areas I haven't seen. Maybe I should just stay put and <laughs> stay on the boat for a while now. Make our way to the other, uh, other save point. Yeah, boat guy could at least try to help you, right? Just sitting there. Ha <laughs> ha! 
every time the skull ominously veers into view, I think it's an enemy, but it's not. Oh, I haven't even been here. Something appeared near to the wooden bridge. an idiot, but I'm not sure what wooden bridge they are referring to here. So we need to bring Donkey Kong over here, I get it. They actually taught us, taught us that quite well in the other room. This barrel is too late. Interesting. Okay, come on. Okay, this is completely doable. You just have to move carefully. You gotta love these little environmental puzzles, huh? Okay, throw your barrel, tanky king. Heart max up. And this is especially what I wanted, max life up. Right, a new area to explore, but let's get a save point first. Sure, we wouldn't want to uh, die on the way. Frog just leaps into the water. Well, I'm glad we have another area to explore. Any lead is good. When you're in that stage of a metrophenia where you're just kind of looking where to go. Ah, right, there's another path up there. Since it's closer to the safe point, we should check there first. So many places I didn't check as a bat, huh? <laughs> oh, 
I like the little question marks. It's like, uh. I wonder what this means. A simple upgrade or a whole new area to explore. It is on the large side for just a side area. We've seen those before, so let's not make too many assumptions until we've seen the end of it. Yeah, this is a completely separate branch of the list of the Meal ticket. I'm not sure what it's for, but it looks good. Moonstone. A save point? Huh. I think we've uh, come across something important here. And now we have another area to explore to the left as well. Very good. So much to see. N nightmare? Mother! That voice! Alucard, it's you! I'm coming, Mother! I'll save you! No, Alucard! Don't come here! But, Mother! It's all right. If my death can save others, I gladly surrender my life. Mother, no! Please, no! Yes, Alucard. Watch me die, and remember always my last words to you. Yes, Mother. You must despise humans. They are to be your prey. What? Better for them to die than to let them compound their sins. Begin by slaying that one over there. No, it wasn't like this. What's wrong? Alucard. My mother never said such a thing. What do you mean? Kill them and bring them happiness. No, you're not my mother. What kind of demon are you? That's a low blow. <laughs> you broke free of my spell. I like that. Demon, death is too good for you. I agree. Come here, little boy, and show me what you've got. <laughs> wow, with this dialogue though. Okay, so some background on Alucard. Did she seriously try to convince him to hate humans? Ooh, this is an interesting move. Oh, that's one way to put it. That's all. Darkling, I smell your blood. You're you... a vampire. I smell Could you are be... blood. Okay, then grammar. That strength, that beauty. You're the son of Lord Dracula. Death in the dream world will set your soul wandering for eternity, demon. Wait! I beg of you! Ah! Okay, then. Let us never speak of this again. 
I'm guessing that was a very important part of the story that we shouldn't have missed. <laughs> so, I'm glad we did it now. Makes me wonder what uh, Alucard's mother really did say. Probably completely the opposite. Asking him to support humans in spite of his vampire lineage. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's leave the ambiguous scream slash slash moan for what it was for now. isn't really an improvement. Where? Clock. Hmm. Let's put a pin in that. So we need to return to the clock room, which is, you know, to the top and right of here. And where? Are they? And let's take the time stopper with us. It's a fun power up after all. You can see though why this game is well beloved for its <laughs> goofy, goofy voice acting. I've been wanting to check this area out, but I died the last few times, so yeah. Yes, but how am I gonna get back now? Just bad, basically. Just bad. And for what? Some nunchucks? <laughs> Evil laugh. Okay, so let's not do that yet. Maybe the area we can explore now, that we open thanks to Donkey Kong, <laughs> uh, will offer us a way to survive in water. If I had been paranoid about saving that time, he would have had a shorter walk now, but it's not a big deal, is it?
You like to laugh since you were seven? That makes sense. It's such a delightfully cheesy to laugh. Yeah, exactly. Motivates you to, uh, to kill the meat. So we're coming on to the two hour mark, and by that I mean we've already. Did Alucard just pick up a pizza? Okay then, I ain't judging. Here, an area transition? Fascinating. Abandoned mine. This is a new area. I can't believe I tried to finish the game without even visiting this one. The sort of crying tones in the background really add an ominous feel to this music. In terms of traditionally scary music, this one's probably the scariest I've heard in the game so far. The atmosphere is quite thick here as well. Find a safe point before I do that because I did take some damage while uh, going underwater. Ah, indeed. I read the design of this area properly. I knew there had to be a safe point next to a boss room like that near the entrance of the area. Alright. Based on how that enemy looks, it's quite bulky. So, I'm glad I'm armed with the holy water. I'm just gonna throw the holy water at him, spam him, and uh, try to avoid any attacks. Alright. Cerberus, right. Literally, the actual hellhound. So we are entering hell then? Yeah, nice try. Nice try, but no dice. I think I made some comments before about this game not being a scary in a traditional sense, but this area is definitely disquiet. Salem Witch, huh? Interesting enemy. So, is it fair to say we've entered hell? Sure feels that way. Gremlin. Plenty of 
prevent your time to get scared. I see, I see. But yeah, this area is, uh, is quite disturbing already. Just the music and the hellhound and the witches and such. It's definitely giving off a, an, an unsettling vibe. So demon card. I'm guessing that one summons the demon then as a uh, as familiar. I'm willing to try it, I guess. I have a flying buddy. Let's drop down last. Another area transition. I am, I think you were completely right on the money, uh, Lightbringer. This castle is way bigger than I thought it was. Well, let's not do the area transition just yet. Shiitake. Karma coin. I'm guessing that's something that deals damage back or something? Improves status after sunset. Interesting. Mystery food ticket use. Um, sounds a bit shady. <laughs> New York style, really? Okay then. Going with two effects use. Interesting. It doesn't really tell me what it does, but. Multiple area transitions. Well, in that case, I'll do the upper one first, actually. Sorry for my indecisiveness, I'm just trying to get my bearings. I was half expecting this to connect back to all the areas I've already seen, but it looks like we've entered an all new part of the, uh, the castle now. So let's see if we can go up there first. Oh, very good. It's a good thing I checked here. Hmm. So the only way to go is down. Let's save here first, though. We did take some damage after all. I will need to stop pretty soon. We're already past the two-hour mark. Although I do enjoy to, uh, I do enjoy the longer streams, but you know how it is with scheduling, sleep, and all that. <laughs> but I do want to look at the new area a bit first before we go. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna save. I'm gonna return to the new area. We're gonna give it like a surface level uh, exploration and then we're gonna call it done and hopefully get a better ending in the next stream. That's the plan.
and we'll uh, we'll discuss whether or not I'll do any other horror games before October goes by. Ah, nice. I think we forgot about this hard one. Yeah, we are reaching dangerous levels of spook right now. Yeah, we should uh, remember to visit the club room with the golden, uh, the golden ring as well. It's not going to be a thing for now, but something I want to remember, because there's plenty left to see after all. Hey, uh, Lightbringer, have you ever tried, uh, Hollow Knight? Should be the next one, then, right? Yes, indeed. Uh, Hollow Knight. It's uh, it's a Metroid uh, sorry it's a Metroidvania for PC and Switch I think might be on other consoles as well but as well but I just played it on Steam. Uh, I'll I'll uh, I don't know if my accent is too thick or something I'll just type it out one second. Yeah that. <laughs> Okay, it's a uh, recent Metroidvania that's very cool. If you like this game, you might uh, like that as well. It... Okay, cool, cool. If you do uh, get the chance to try it, let me know what you think of it. Ah, okay. Catacombs. Just getting deeper and deeper, aren't we? And no problem, I hope you like it. Where skeleton? Bone art, huh? I like how that one just runs away. But if this is the uh, way to progress, then... I'm guessing that there is a safe point to the left, so let's go there quickly. Look at that extending neck, though. The music here is a bit uh, funky again. Yeah, that's what I thought. Another safe point. Makes perfect sense. There's another path to the left of here as well. Bloodstone. Blood healing ability. Hmm. Might as well save again. Hmm. 
Those gremlins are gonna make exploration harder. The time stop is really good, but it costs so much uh, sub weapon ammo. Right, a path to the left and a path to the right. The damage is so small, it kind of feels pointless to do something about it. Hmm. Many sub weapons to pick from, but I always prefer the uh, the Bible. Ooh, slime monsters. Interesting. Maybe a bad idea to go in there without a light source of some kind. So something left to check in the bottom right. Oh, I lost the Bible. <laughs> well, this weapon is actually much better against slimes when you think about it. Like throwing salt on a slug, which is really mean to do. Let's check what's to the left of here. Uh, well, might as well stick with the salt since it hits the enemies in this area. They are definitely offering us many more options at a time. Really gotta think about what fits the situation best, you know? Like all this could just come to life all of a sudden. It's almost scary that it didn't happen. Life max up. Life max up. Whoa, what's that? Yeah, you can you can survive the salt. Horse-headed man came apart. It is a big boy. Yeah. Ooh. Seems like we're genuinely entering hell here. Lost song. Another big boy. Discus Lord. Discus. They all die in such interesting ways, don't they? <laughs> Oh, 
enter a room, get one dollar. Very good. Fire is a bit troublesome, isn't it? I guess that's the point. How big is this area? I said I was gonna do a surface level exploration, but holy mo- okay. It's pretty clear what's going to happen in this room. You know it, I know it. There's a boss in there. And he's gonna be bossy. Very convenient save point. Okay. So, I think I've done what could be called a surface level exploration of this area. You know, just, just explore the first bit of it. But let's go fight that boss and see how hard it is. I'm not guaranteeing I'll win on this team, but... Let's give it a shot and see what's in there. Maybe it'll be easy. Okay, <laughs> maybe not. Grand Falloon. It's like a ball of corpses. Kind of horrific. Yeah, we do have plenty of time. Oh, man. Why did I shoot them in the wrong direction? Okay, we've removed one of the, uh, one of the parts of it. There's some creature in the middle of it. Absolutely horrifying. Yeah, that's what I wanted. It doesn't seem like it's that effective against groups. Okay, good. I have no idea if this is cheap, but it works. I also like that this boss has different music from the other uh, bosses. I like my little team. Right? The problem with attacking the middle is that the corpses uh, can drop behind you. The last thing you want is to be surrounded by mutilated corpses. Let's be honest here. I remember hearing horror stories of like a ball of rats, just but not a ball of corpses. I mean, it's more horrifying when it's people than when it's uh, rats. Thank <laughs> you. 
taking some time, though. Sorry about that browser sound effect. Apparently Google Pro saw it fit to notify me about stuff. Those laser beams hit for a lot of damage, though. Oh, that didn't quite hit the mark. He is running out of corpses, though, so that's something. Right, I'm guessing the core part is the important part to hit. If I destroy the corpses, ow, that was bad. I really don't want to have to redo this. Well, if I lose, we're going to pick up again next time, you know? Okay, let's try something. Getting the HP restoring effect I was hoping for. Oh, there it is, one HP, thanks. That's really worth it, to be honest. Just move out of the way whenever he tries to fire off one of those tentacles. There we go. But I, uh, we got through it okay. So let's do the next of here, uh, to the left of here. Okay, more stuff to explore. Then I'll probably head back to the save point and uh, call it done here. Ah, what is this? More McGill. Strong versus holy. Interesting. I really have to think about which enemies we're fighting. Oh. 
I should probably put on my better equipment before I save, cause, uh, yeah. <laughs> Data saved. Right, so... Uh, we're gonna pick this back up again tomorrow night. Um, same... Uh, same time as last time. We'll start at about... Let's say... 7.30... European... Uh, Euro <laughs> standard... Amsterdam time, basically. Central European time. And we'll uh, see about exploring the castle further and trying to get a better ending. But until then, we'll uh, we'll call it done. So, thanks uh, a lot to everyone who watched the stream. In particular, thanks to Lightbringer BG and Pixelmaster113. Thank you for uh, watching the stream, for chatting. It's been a lot of fun. And I hope I will catch you tomorrow on the uh, on the next stream. But until then, uh, this stream is over. So have a good night and see you later. Bye-bye.